Hey Dreamside fans, it's DM Combo. Welcome back. Today I've got an art technique video for you. I've got actually two techniques in this video, but they are linked together, which is why I made them in one video, and that is light bounce and color bleed. So let me show you how these work. What I've got on the screen here are two different layers. I've got a, uh, a circle shape, and that is over a, uh, a, a plane in dimension here. So I'm going to turn this circle into a sphere, and the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to select the circle layer, I'm going to turn on lock transparency and then with my paintbrush I'm going to move to about a 90% gray and I'm just going to begin to paint in uh, shadow forms onto the sphere. Now you can see that I am moving the brush around the dimension of the object as I visualize it, okay? Instead of just making straight strokes like that, which uh, are just fine if you want to work on that sort of uh, style or something like that. But I'm trying to create a somewhat realistic scene here. So I'm going to think about the, the shape of the object as I'm drawing it. Now I'm going to move over to a 10 to 15 percent gray and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. But this is going to be the, the lit side of the sphere. Okay, so now what I did was I, I turned that circle into a sphere and now I need to project a shadow onto this plane. So I'm going to make another layer between them, make it a multiply layer, and then choose a 50% gray and just begin to paint in a shadow. Now if you have uh, heard me talk about shadows at all in the past, I, I know I've mentioned a few times that shadows, shadows get softer as they move away from the object that's casting them. So I'm going to use my blur brush here and I'm going to soften the edge that's further away from the sphere shape, okay? Okay, so I have a fairly realistic scene here, but for some reason it doesn't really look together. The reason is because the sphere doesn't really interact with the ground plane. Now I'm assuming that this ground plane is, let's say it's a relatively hard surface that reflects a lot of light, like a plastic. What it's gonna do is when light hits that surface, light is actually going to project upward from it, all right? And because the sphere is just above it, it's going to receive some of that light, all right? And in, in the process, it's going, to, it's going to take some of that red color with it and project that onto the underside of the sphere, okay? So in order to indicate that, I'm going to make a selection of the sphere layer by uh, holding Command or Control while I click on the thumbnail, make a new layer, and once again with my brush, I'm going to color pick the red of the ground plane and just begin to paint some of that red into the sphere. All right, now this just takes a second, but you can see right off the bat here, it only only uh, about five seconds in, and suddenly the scene now has an almost photorealistic effect, all right? Of course, I've got brush strokes in there and it's, it's quickly put together, but you can see that the lighting is now realistic. The reason for that is because of this projected light. Now, I probably have exaggerated it a little bit too much here, but that's okay because I can do that in my own illustrations. I can do whatever I want with them, and you can do the same. And let me show you how I have done this effect and exaggerated it in DreamSide's art. So I pop over to an illustration here from chapter three. Now, this scene is actually set up with basically the same lighting that I just showed you. It has a single light source that's projected from the upper right, and so the left side of Sarah in this image is in shadow, but it's not totally dark. It's actually very bright. It's got a lot of light that's projected from underneath Sarah, and you can see that it's a purplish pinkish light, okay? The reason for that is because the ground underneath Sarah has this sort of pinkish color, and the atmosphere around her has a sort of bluish color, and the two combine and kind of make this purplish color, okay? And so I'm, I'm using my artistic license to exaggerate and imagine that it's almost like there's another light that is uh, in the, the under uh, left side of this image that is shining up onto her. That's how exaggerated it is if you really think about it, but all in all, the effect uh, that it gives the image is that it allows me to make the colors more vivid, allows me to introduce more color gradients, which is a big part of uh, DreamSide's style. Okay, so it's really going to be up to you how much you want to use this, but you can see this is a this is a much more complex object that's on the screen here. It, Sarah is made up of shapes, just like anything, and you have to understand how the shapes move in three dimensions. You have to understand how the head is formed, but you, you think about it just like the sphere, or like a box. You just create something that's rounded, and you think about how light moves around in dimension. And the more you practice with that, the better off 
uh, you will be. If you have any questions about this, you can reach my website at www.dmcombo.com forward slash contact and there you can send me a message. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there or you can always leave comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.